Political expression of social division is possible and sometimes quite desirable in a democratic system. Social divisions based on gender and sex has traditionally attracted less attention than those rooted in ethnicity and social class. In this chapter we shall discuss the origin of gender divisions and the different forms of gender inequality in India. In this chapter we will study Gender Division The gender division tends to be understood as natural and unchangeable, but it is not based on biology. It is based on social expectations and stereotypes. Sexual Division of Labor Boys and girls are brought up to believe that the main responsibility of women is household work and bringing up the children. Men do all the work outside the home. The women also do paid work in addition to domestic labor. But their work is not valued and does not get recognition. Gender issue raised in politics. Earlier, only men were allowed to vote and contest for public offices. Gradually, the gender issue was raised in politics. Women across the world agitated for equal rights. There were agitation in different countries for the extension of voting rights to women. These agitation demanded improvement in educational, personal, political equality. These movements are called feminist movement. Political expression of gender division and political mobilization helped to improve women's roles in public life. Gender inequality in India in Sweden, Norway and Finland, the participation of women in public life is very high. Our country has a male-dominated, patriarchal society where women face injustice. Literacy rate among women is only 50% compared with 76% of men. The proportion of highly paid women is very small. Women are less paid than men even when both do exactly the same work. Sex selective abortion led to a decline in child sex ratio in the country to merely 914. Frame 5 Women as a political representative Many feminist movements say unless women control power, their problems will not get adequate attention. The proportion of women in legislature has been very low in India. Women members has 10% seats in Lok Sabha for the first time in 2009. Their share in the state assemblies is less than 5%. To solve this problem, women participation should be legally binding to have a fair proportion of women as in the Panchayati Raj. One third of seats in local government bodies in panchayats and municipalities are now reserved for women. Now. There are more than 10 lakh elected women representatives in rural and urban local bodies. Women organizations demand for at least one-third of the total seats in the Lok Sabha and state assemblies for women. However, a bill proposal has been pending before the parliament for more than a decade regarding the same. An ideal woman Women in today's world are multitasking. She is an ideal listener an ideal beauty, an ideal housewife, an ideal employee. 